Hello there. My name is Jose Domingo Cruz, as you can see here on the slide, and I'm going to be your teacher for Thursday, fifth period, communicative English. And I wanted to make a video uh, before the class to help you understand what we're going to be doing, um, at, at least in this video, through the, through the semester, but especially the information that you need to know before class begins. I'm going to try to make these videos before every class because we're going to be doing a lot of on-demand classes so that then even though we won't meet every week you can still get to hear me explain to you what it is that we're going to be doing. So let's take a look at what we're going to be doing through most of the semester and especially for the first class what you have to prepare, um, pens, paper, um, a dictionary, all of those things. Let's talk about that. Okay so uh, first, um, one thing that's important for you to know is that uh, even though I didn't have you as my students in the first semester, um, the entire university in the second semester will be doing more on-demand classes. Uh, not so much the um, online classes where teachers are using Teams or Zoom. I was using Zoom. I don't use Teams. Uh, but uh, I was doing that every week. Every week we have an online class and now the university wants more on-demand classes. So instead of me being able to do that all the time, I'll only be able to do five classes online. Only, sorry, only five classes online. Okay, and that includes uh, all of the classes we could have plus the test. Only five of them could be online. And four of those online classes I will use uh, for, for a chance to talk to you about your writing and your speaking assignments. This class will be using writing and speaking assignments for me to help you with your English. Now, to be honest with you, uh, if we weren't in a COVID-19, a coronavirus pandemic, uh, we would be in the classroom talking and speaking and having fun and talking and having lots of conversation. To me, um, conversation is more important than writing. But because we're uh, at you know, we have the problem of the coronavirus and the university doesn't want you to meet online so much. Uh, I'm going to change this class and use more writing uh, in the class. In any case, we're only going to be meeting, okay, five times online and four of those online classes, I will be telling you um, how to improve your writing, how to improve your speaking. I will be giving you feedback for your assignments. Now, the last online class, because four of them will be for feedback, the last online class will be for your final writing test. Um, you will actually have two final tests, one for writing and one for speaking, because those are the two parts of the, of the, of the, of the class. And for the writing class, I'm going to use Zoom so that I can see you all and make sure that you're all writing uh, by yourself. You're, you're not taking any extra time. So one of those online classes will be for the final writing test. All of the other classes, except for those five, all of the other classes, the practice tests, everything will be on demand. Okay, now let me show you the schedule uh, that we'll be using for the on demand and the online classes. I think of our class as having basically five sections. Four sections will be for lessons. Okay, this is where we study English. And then the fifth uh, part, the fifth section, that will be for the tests, okay? So there are three weeks for each section, okay? And let's take a look at those sections, okay? Three weeks per section. Now normally, normally, okay, uh, the first week we'd have a writing assignment and that class will be on demand. In the second week, there will be a speaking assignment and that will also be on demand. Both of those on-demand classes, I will make a video like this explaining to you what you have to do so that then you know um, what's involved in the assignment. And then in the third week, we all come together on Zoom. I give you some advice. We have a discussion. We talk about how to improve your speaking assignment and your writing assignment. And maybe we'll try some, some other speaking exercises. So that's the normal schedule. Okay, Three weeks per section. First section is writing on demand, second is speaking on demand, third one is feedback and group discussion online via Zoom. In a normal section, that will be the case. Now, in the first section, okay, I'm sorry, uh, there were four sections in three weeks, so that makes 12 weeks, okay? That makes 12 weeks. But in the first section, what will actually happen is there's a special schedule because we've never studied before. 
So what I'm going to do in the first section, the first week will be online for you. And that will be tomorrow, October 1st. Okay. Then we take the two on demand sections and we move them ahead. After this first section, then we go to the normal schedule for section two, section three, section four. Okay, so just the first section, just the first three weeks, okay, we will do the online class first, then on demand and on demand. Uh, after that, then we go to the normal schedule. This special schedule is only for the first section. Okay, sections two and four, sections two, two, four, sections two, three, four will have the normal schedule. Okay, in the test section, which is the last section, that will all be in January. Uh, when we come back on January 7th, okay, uh, we will have a practice test. And that practice test will be for your writing, and don't worry, we have plenty of time for me to explain to you. That will be on demand. Then there will be a practice test on demand for your speaking assignments. And your speaking assignments also, I will have more time to tell you about what it involves. Uh, I'll do that especially at the be beginning of the very first speaking assignment. Anyway, the practice test is January 14th. January 21st is the final writing test. This is the real one. This is the important one. Okay, January 21st is the final writing test. That will be online via Zoom. So remember that you have to have Zoom not just for tomorrow for the first Zoom class and all of the feedback uh, sessions that we will have. Uh, through October and December, but especially for that writing test. If you have any problems with that, remember, you should email me, you should contact me, you should talk to me. And in the, va and the, the last uh, test will be on January 28th. It will be on demand and it will be a speaking test. Okay. Now, let me explain the writing assignments very quickly. Very quickly, I will explain in much more detail tomorrow and uh, until you get used to it, I will try to repeat the information for all of your writing assignments, probably at least into December. Uh, basically, it's this. You have uh, a writing assignment, and it's mostly about how much you write, your quantity of writing. How many words you write will decide the major part of your grade. 75% of your grade is on how much you write. You write only a little bit, even if it's beautiful English, you're not going to get a very high grade. Okay. But if you write a lot, even if you make some mistakes, not a big deal because I just want you to keep writing, keep writing a lot. Only 25% of your grade will be based on quality. And those qualities basically is not having so many basic mistakes, basic grammatical mistakes. Not difficult grammatical mistakes. Of course, you don't understand difficult grammar. But basic, basic mistakes, the stuff that you learned in junior high school, you should have already gotten control of that. So if you don't have any of those, you won't lose any marks on quality. You should show me your original thinking, that you're thinking about the topic, that you're not just saying uh, what I said. You're not just saying what you read. You're not just saying what other people have said on the topic. You have original thinking. And that you show that you understand what is being said. If I give you a newspaper article to read, you understand what's in that newspaper article, and then you m put that together with your original thinking, and you try to stay away from basic mistakes. Okay. Now, when I said that you have uh, to try to write as much as you can, look at this scale. Okay. There are two parts of this. There's the word count on the left, and the word on sorry, the grade on the right. So on the left, if you write less than 90 words, you're going to get a D. And 90 to 100, it's a little bit better. That's a D plus, but it's still a basic fail. You have to write more than 100 words. You have 30 minutes to write. 100 words in 30 minutes basically means about three words a minute. You can write more than three words a minute. Okay. So if you start writing more, then your grade goes up. 100 to 120, C minus. C is 120 to 140. Okay. B is 180 to 200 words. You want to get an A? Then you have to write at least 240 words. And if you can get more than 250 words, you can get an A+. If you can write more than 260 words in 30 minutes, you can get an S. So this is mostly about how much you can write. You have to write very, very quickly. 30 minutes only. Okay, 30 minutes only in pen with your hand. Not a word processor. You have to write this by hand. Okay. Now let me talk to you about speaking. I'll talk. 
a lot more about writing uh, tomorrow and before the first writing assignment. But I'm just doing this as a general set of ideas. Speaking. Basically in speaking, okay, uh, when you speak, you have to have good style. You have to look like you have power when you speak. Are you looking at a person's eyes? Are you gesturing? Are you smiling when you speak? All of those things are what I call style, good speaking style. Uh, when you speak, do you, again, have original ideas? It's important in writing. It's important in speaking. You have to bring your own ideas. Then another 25% is for following the rules that I'm going to show you in a couple of weeks and a little bit tomorrow, too, about how to make a walking video. Don't worry about it right now, but basically, okay, I'll just tell you very quickly, you're going to use your smartphone to make a video of yourself as you're walking. Okay, you're going to be walking around, talking in English, taking a video of yourself. And, of course, a little bit about your English quality, but again, don't worry too much about this. Your English quality, when I talk about your English quality, number one, okay, let me say this really clearly the first time. I do not want you to memorize a speech. Okay? I want you to speak to me in your natural English. If that means you make a few mistakes, it's okay. Your natural English is much better than listening to you make a speech or listening to you memorize or say again a memorized speech. This is you when you say a memorized speech. This is a memorized speech. This is what somebody sounds like when they remembered everything that they have to say. And sometimes they forget, so they stop and think about what they want to say. It's not very interesting. I don't like it. Please don't do it. Sounds horrible. Okay. Or uh, another thing that people try to do when they're um, trying to make these videos is they try to, to do it while they're reading notes. So they have their notes, and they try to read these notes. And this is what you sound like when you're reading notes. When you're reading notes under your phone, you sound like somebody who's reading notes. You sometimes can't read your own writing, and I can see in your face that you are trying to read. Don't even try, okay? You have good English. Don't memorize speeches. Don't make speeches. Talk to me as if you're talking to your friend in a natural conversation. I'll give you more ideas about that when it's time to talk about it a bit more. Let's go on. Okay. Um, all of the on-demand classes will have an optional Zoom room. So even though it's on-demand and we don't have to meet, I will be available for a Zoom uh, discussion if you want to come and talk to me for 20 minutes, the first 20 minutes of the class. Your class is fifth period, so that means that from about 1620 until 1640, you can click on a link in the Moodle and you can come and ask me a question about um, maybe there's a problem that you have or you don't know if you can do this or maybe it's even an English question. I'll be there in the Zoom room every time, even during the on-demand classes. So you can always talk to me. But if it's an on-demand class, you don't have to come to that uh, Zoom room. Only during the online feedback and group discussions do you have to come. Otherwise, um, it's on demand and just go ahead and do the assignment. And if you have any questions, you can see my Gmail right here. You see that Gmail? Okay. You use that Gmail. You come and uh, talk to me uh, either in Zoom or you use that Gmail to uh, give me uh, a message and to ask me a question. Okay. When you send me an email, write your name. Okay. Write your department. If you're in, you're in the department, I believe, I'm not sure, but I think it's law or maybe you're in the business department or you're in the international relations department, you write your name and your department and your student number. Don't, and and, uh, and, and I'm, I'm going to show you a lot more about how to write a proper email so that you can start writing email as if you were working at a company. Okay, well, we'll show you that a little bit later. Anyway, uh, that's basically all you need to know for now. Um, I'll give you more information uh, before or during, sorry, during the first class tomorrow. Okay? Thanks very much, and I'll see you in class tomorrow. Bye-bye.